So today we're going to be talking about really weird things that I saw while I was in prison. Some of these things may be gross, some of these things may be shocking, and some of these things are going to be just downright odd. So if you're interested in hearing that, then just stick around. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so excited about this video today because I don't even know why I didn't think about this sooner. There are a lot of weird things that you see while you are in prison. If you've never watched a video of mine before, hi, my name is Christina. Whenever I was 21 years old, I was sentenced to three years state prison in Florida. And while I was in there, I seen a lot of different type of things. I saw funny things, I saw scary things, I saw eerie things and I saw really 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 sad things but I also saw some really odd and bizarre things too so if you have seen any of these things or anything like that in your life let me know in the comment section down below because y'all know I love hearing from y'all other than that let's just get into number one one of the weird things that I saw that was in there was turning pads into tampons. I had never seen this before in my life. Do any of y'all do that here on the streets? I really, really doubt it. In prison, they give you these big giant pads. Some of y'all have kind of described them to the ones that they may give you in the hospital when you've had a baby. But if you've never had a baby, let me just tell you what they look like. They're about this long. They go from the front to the back. It's like wearing a diaper. They're very, 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 very thick. And even if you wear them as like a pad, because they're so cheaply made, they get bunched up and this big thick pad ends up being this little thin pad that's just kind of there in your underwear in there. So we would take them and turn them into tampons. And how we would do that is we would take the outside part, which is kind of like a mesh, and rip apart the stuffing on the inside and roll them really, really tight into the shape of a tampon. Then take the mesh and wrap it around and tie it on the end. Now the tampon didn't have a string, it's like a little torpedo, but hey, it worked. And you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in there because the underwear aren't comfortable, the pads don't stick, and you know, you just gotta get innovative whenever you're in prison. So yes, turning pads into tampons. The second weird thing that I saw while I was in prison is women would take water bottles. Now, you can buy water bottles off of the canteen. They're really, really expensive on the canteen. Pretty much everything that you buy on the canteen is super expensive. The prices are inflated, but you know, whatever. I'm not here to complain about it. I did the crime, so I'm going to do the time, obviously. But we would take the water bottles and take out about this much water and put, you guys are gonna flip when I tell you guys this. <laughs> We would put our cocoa powder. You could also buy cocoa powder on the canteen, which you make hot cocoa with, in the water bottles and shake them up and drink them like chocolate milk. Yeah, sounds gross, right? Just water, a water bottle with cocoa powder in it as chocolate milk. We would do it and to us it tastes really good in there because you have to understand when you're in prison and you don't have a lot of flavoring in your food, the people that work in the kitchen, they're not allowed to use a lot of seasonings. I actually don't even know if they have a lot of seasonings because the food is not made to be pleasurable, right? It's not made for us to sit down and like have this delicious meal. It's made to give us just amount of the nutrition that's suggested in order to keep us alive, okay? So the food has no flavoring. So every little thing that you can taste in there that has really good flavoring is like, a thousand times more. Out here in the free world, you know, we can season our food, we can go out to eat, we get to have all of these different flavors. So maybe cocoa powder and water would taste disgusting to us out here, but in there it tastes really good. And yep, I'm guilty of partaking in that one as well. The next weird thing that I saw women do in prison and in the county jail actually is, you guys, do not try this at home. 
do not. Snorting coffee. Yes. I know some of y'all are screaming right now because y'all have been in the county jail or been in prison and you've seen women do this. Yes, snorting coffee to get some sort of high or some sort of like energy. I have no idea exactly what it does because I've never snorted coffee. But in prison, you can actually buy instant coffee. So it's, you know, we don't have coffee pots in prison, obviously. You, you have to use instant coffee. So it's just the coffee grounds and they would line it up and straight up snort it. Yeah, we'll just move on to the next one. <laughs> the fourth really weird thing that I saw women do while I was in prison was take soap and form them into pleasure toys. We'll just say that, okay? They would take the soap. You can buy Irish Spring soap bars and one other. I can't remember what it is. Maybe it's Dial. Y'all let me know down in the comment section if you know the other one in the Florida State Prison, but Irish soap is the one that I know for sure. Irish Spring or whatever it's called, the green and white bar. And they take like three or four or how many bars, depending on how big they want their toy to be, <laughs> and they melt them. You know how soap can mold and all that whenever it's, you know, when you have it in the back bathroom and it's gotten really hot and now it starts bending whatever and they mold them together and they create the shape they want so they can pleasure themselves and pleasure other people would soap hurt you going in places it shouldn't go yes so they would steal gloves from either the kitchen or from the cleaning closet whenever they could and take the finger of the glove and put it on top of the soap so there's that little latex layer in between themselves and the soap. But you guys would be surprised how much that happens. That is That happens all the time. Like that is like an everyday thing. It's like a thing. And you know, hey, even though I wasn't involved in any soap toy pleasure having days, I can't, you know, I can't hate, you know, women have needs too. So that's what they would do. <laughs> the fifth thing that I felt like was really weird that I saw when while I was in prison was women taking on the mommy daddy roles in prison. Okay, so let me just give you an example. You'll have like, let's say there are two women, there are a couple in there, right? And one is the stud. One is the more masculine version and she's playing the role of the male in the relationship and then the woman is the other woman is playing the feminine role. So she's playing like a mommy version and then the stud is playing the daddy version. Well, they will have other women in there and I'm talking about these women are 30 and 40 years old that are doing this, going up to them, calling them mommy and daddy. Yes. So then they have like a whole family with their children in prison. So you'll have the mommy and the daddy and you'll have four or five children, which are all grown women. And you know, they're going up, mommy, what are we cooking today? Daddy. And she'll say, go ask daddy. And then, you know, the, the other grown women, these aren't children, go up to the stud. Daddy, what are you cooking tonight? You know, because they'll make food out of their canteen and make like burritos and, you know, little cakes and stuff. And, you know, like literally, literally mommy and daddy playing house in there. And uh, I feel bad because I, I don't, listen, just because these things are weird doesn't mean I think they're wrong, okay? Like, it's just a little weird, right? It's just a little weird to see or whatever. But, you know, I guess women need to do what they need to do to keep their self mentally happy in there or something, you know? So, no hate, no shade, just a little odd. <laughs> The sixth weird thing that I have seen women do while I was in prison is, hold on to your shimmies, guys, eating their boogers. I know, I know, disgusting, but I have literally seen grown women eat their boogers, two different women as a matter of fact, sitting on her bed, picking her nose and eating her boogers. Now, before anybody comes at me in the comments, maybe there's some sort of mental, you know, reason why people do that or maybe there is you know i've heard people say that there's like a lack in nutrition or lack of vitamins why people eat their boogers or whatever i don't know you know that that life that life ain't for me you know what i'm saying like no thank you i'll pass like you know no 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 this case you can have your boogers i i don't want none no that's you know I, 
just it's just not my style <laughs> but maybe if anybody knows any of my nurses or doctors or you know my nutrition friends on here can tell me why exactly people do that but i have seen women eat their boogers let's move on to the next one it's getting a little awkward all right guys hold on again this is going to be a rough one the seventh really weird thing that i've seen women do while they were in prison is sticking pills up their bum yes and when i asked why they've done this they say because i guess something about like it hits the bloodstream faster when it goes up your anal cavity so they would get pills and stick them straight up their butt yeah in the bathroom bent over sticking a pill up their butt yes pills go around in there it's not unless they're getting them from the outside which that does happen too but you know a lot of women get prescribed a lot of different psych meds and other women get high on them and then they you know sell them for canteen or maybe they give them to their girlfriends and in there they're sticking them straight up their bum y'all think i'm crazy now don't you i'm telling you guys Prison is a very interesting place. When you're living in the same close proximity of thousands of women, I mean, you see all kinds of stuff going on in there. All right, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> the eighth really weird thing that I saw while I was in prison is women wiping themselves with either notebook paper or the little brown thing from in the middle of the toilet paper roll or magazines, whatever they could get. And I will tell you, why in prison they issue out one or two rolls of toilet paper a week i can't remember i believe it's two rolls of toilet paper a week per person so you have to keep your toilet paper in your trunk that we have these little trunks by our beds that you put a combination lock on and you have to make sure nobody steals your toilet paper because if they do you don't get any more toilet paper so if you have a bladder disease like you know ic or something like that where you have to go potty multiple times a day and you don't have you know you only have those two rolls of toilet paper or if you drop one and it gets wet like you are out of toilet paper or if somebody steals your toilet paper you are stuck so i've literally seen women have to wipe themselves with notebook paper magazine old envelopes and that's actually really sad i don't think anybody especially if you are locked in a facility and you can't like go out and get a job and buy your own toilet paper you should be able to have toilet paper as much as you need if you need it i mean what else are people going to do with their toilet paper it's not like we're like writing home on toilet paper you're using toilet paper to go to the bathroom but unfortunately in prison it doesn't happen like that and women still got to do what they got to do yeah let's move on to the next one the ninth weird thing that I saw while I was in prison was women doing, how can I word this? Intimate favors for canteen. Yes, it happens. Women will really do certain things for or to other women to get soups or whatever and i'm sure that that probably happens in the male prison as well and you know at first i thought it was kind of sad you know but the the other part of me thought well you know if one woman's got a need and the other one's gonna fix it and they are both consensual to it then you know whatever i mean I guess but it, it's kind of weird to see it's really weird like I remember specifically this one lady she was probably about 60 years old she had been in there for I think like 30 years she had been in there forever and she was just like an old timer she was one of the ones that just did her own thing nobody really messed with her unless you know but she would like you know loan you soups and stuff and I'm gonna tell you guys about that about like what happens when you have to borrow something from somebody and you know what all you know what all comes with that because you better believe people aren't in there just giving you stuff for free you are in prison honey i mean it, it's not like that there everything comes with a price but this older lady like she would have these other women going in the bathroom and taking care of her and she would come right out and just sit on her bed and like read her book like honey she was about her business baby she was like oh you want these soups and these honey buns 
you better come in this bathroom and take care of mama. And then she'd just come back out there and read her books. And to me, it was weird. Okay. Like not that, you know, having relations with people, you know, or anything like that is weird, but it was just the whole vibe of it. It was just kind of like, you know, you know what time it is. You hungry? <laughs> you want to eat? You got to eat. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> All right, my loves, I hope that you guys liked this video of me telling you guys some of the weird things that I saw while I was in prison. If you have any ideas or any suggestions of other prison videos that you guys want me to do, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below. Other than that, please don't forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. We are Dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust